buffer bar of 12 mm diameter get a stretch by 1 mm under a steady load of 4 newton the weight 80 mm before striking the collar rigidity fixed to the lower end of the bar take angst modulus for the bar material as 100 gpa so first of all write down the given data for that so diameter of bar it is d is equal to 12 mm d is equal to it is 12 mm then stretched at delta l is equal to it is delta l is equal to it is 1 mm delta l change in length it is 1 mm when 1 mm when load it is p1 is equal to 4 kilo newton 4 kilo newton so convert it is in kilo newton to newton 10 to power 3 it is in newton then what what should be be the produced in the bar what stress would be produced in the bar by weight of p2 is equal to it is 500 newton p2 is equal to 500 newton okay then height it is called at a height of h is equal to it is 80 mm h is equal to it is 80 mm okay the angst modulus e is equal to it is e is equal to it is 100 gpa 100 gpa so 100 into 10 to the power 3 100 into 10 to the power 3 Newton per mm square, 100 into 10 to the power 3 Newton per mm square. Okay. So converted it GP to Newton per mm square. Okay. So first of all, calculate cross section, cross section of bar. Cross section. Cross section of bar. Cross section of bar. Okay. That is A. That is in bracket A cross section of bar so a is equal to a is equal to pi d square by 4 pi pi into d square pi into d square pi d square divided by 4 divided by 4 pi d square divided by is equal to pi into pi into pi into d t diameter is 12 square 12 square pi d square divided by 4 divided by 4 divided by 4 divided by 4 so it will be get cross sectional area of bar pi in 12 square divided by 4. So it will be 1 13.097 mm square. Mm square. This one it is cross section area of bar. Okay. So next calculate length of bar. That is length of bar denoted by L. So length of bar. Length of bar that is in bracket capital L. Okay. So Change in length it will be given delta L is equal to from the relation this one delta L is equal to delta L is equal to so for load for that P1 into L divided by A into E P1 into L divided by A into E that is relation of PL divided by AE okay. AE AE so delta L it is 1 mm 1 mm put all this value here. P1 it is 4 kilo newton 4 kilo newton to newton so Put all this value newton mm okay so l it is unknown then cross sectional area it is cross sectional area of bar it is 113 113.097 into e it is modulus of elasticity is 100 into 10 to the power 10 to the power 3 newton per mm square okay so l is equal to it is so 1 into 113 one one three point zero nine seven into hundred into ten to the power three. So take this part, it is in left side, then divided by four into ten to the power three, four divided by ten to the power three. So it will be get L is equal to two point eight two seven four. Two point eight two seven four into ten to the power three mm okay this is one it is length of bar to calculate stress produce stress 
trace produced in the bar in the bar due to impact load due to due to impact load due to impact load okay due to impact load so for that impact load so write down for this formula it is stress is equal to stress is equal to it is p by a, p by a, p by a p by a, p by a plus plus root of plus root of plus root of plus root of n bracket p by a square p by a square p by Plus two p h e two p h e divided by a l two p h e divided by a l a l a l put all these value here two p h e divided by a l okay put all these value here so. Stress is P it is five hundred five hundred divided by A it is A it is one one three one one three point zero nine seven then plus plus root of plus root of root of root of in bracket in bracket. It is five hundred. It is five hundred divided by divided by area. It is one one three point zero nine seven. One one three point zero nine seven bracket square bracket square. Then plus plus two p h e divided by l. It is this part plus two into p it is five hundred into h it is eighty mm. E it is hundred into ten to the power three. Hundred into ten to the power three divided by divided by. So this one it is two p h e divided by a l. Okay, so a it is again one one three point zero nine seven into l it is two point eight two seven four into ten to the power ten to the power three ten to the power three. Okay, so it will be get stress produced in the bar from this relation. So First of all, fifteen. So five hundred divided by one one three point zero nine seven. So this is a little bit four point four two zero plus root of plus root of plus root of plus root of. First of all, calculate five hundred divided by one point one one three point zero nine seven. That is four point four two zero bracket square. Okay, so it will be nineteen point nineteen point five four five. Then plus plus two p h e divided by two into five hundred into eighty into hundred into ten to the power three ten to the power three divided by one one three point zero nine seven into two point eight two seven four into ten to the power three. So this value will be get twenty five point twenty five point zero one seven nine zero one 
seven nine into ten to the power three. Ten to the power three. Okay. So calculate this value. First of all, calculate root value. The root. So nineteen point five four five plus twenty five point zero one seven nine into ten to the power three. Then root of answer ten plus four point four two zero. So it will be get one sixty two point. So trace value is equal to. One sixty two, one sixty two point six five two newton per m square, newton per mm square, or mpa, or newton per mm square, or mpa. So stress produced in the bar because of impact load it is one sixty two point six five two newton per mm square or mpa. Okay, because of it falls to eighty mm before the striking the. Color rigidity is fixed at to the lower end. So for that, stress produced is one sixty two point six five two newton per m square. Okay.